Adelante. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo estás? Está? ¿Qué dices? Es que me quisieron secuestrar otra vez. No veo cuándo. ¿Reconoces a los tipos? Yo el... reconozco solo a dos, porque nos venían corriendo. ¿Y de dónde los reconoces? Porque ellos fueron los que nos llevaron. De repente yo decía a los lados y ahí estaba el mismo hombre que le había pegado a Cap. It's not safe for these kids who've talked about what they've seen to live here anymore. I don't know what to do to protect them. People look to me for leadership. They look to me for an inner strength. And if I show moments of weakness to them, that's going to put doubts in their mind, and so I can't show it to them. But, I mean, sometimes I lie on my pillow and, and sometimes I even pray, because sometimes I feel that I can't handle all this. If you'd like to know more about how to help the street children, you can contact Amnesty International at 99 to 119 Rosebury Avenue, London EC1R 4RE. Well, next, me next week, Every Man explores the attitude of the Catholic Church to birth control, in vitro fertilization, and other sexual matters. Catholics and sex, next Sunday at 10.25. After a war, how do you manage the peace? Recent arms control treaties have called for the scrapping of military equipment, but this apparent thawing of the Cold War has created a new challenge for scientists, arms verification, ensuring that neither side cheats. It's a new science. Engineers are designing verification tags here at the Sandia Labs. Those patterns are the unique fingerprint of that tank. But even with tagging, ground inspectors alone would be incapable of controlling the huge area covered by the treaty. Horizon considers how technology can be used to establish a stable peace. Tomorrow at 10 past 8 on 2. In half an hour here on 1, we'll be bringing you up to date on the Gulf news. First, we witness changes taking place in the primary schools of our French neighbours. Clean slate. Hello there. It often seems that our schooling is subject to swings of educational fashion from the three R's to child-centered learning are now apparently back again. Meanwhile, the pendulum in France is swinging in the opposite direction. We report from Paris and Lyon. Poet Wendy Cope looks back on her education and rewrites her school report. And we've news of more teacher shortages, but this time in Cambodia. 13,000 British school children are classed as having special needs. To achieve their full potential, they need special educational support, but finding that support can be a nightmare. Mike Baker looks at the battles parents can face in getting children the help they need. Jonathan is autistic. Autistic children lack imagination, which is a very disabling handicap. It means that they can't 
understand what other people are thinking or feeling. And I believe it's compounded by the fact that he is not receiving appropriate education at the moment. People like us have uh, quite considerable problems anyway, just the day-to-day -day care of a child like Jonathan. And also there's an, an ongoing feeling of grief and sadness that you're trying to deal with and a tremendous anxiety about that child's progress and future because they're not a child that's ever going to be able to look after themselves. And then to have to fight for their basic needs.